my shuttle. Officially on. And we're at Frozen Creek. Just gonna show you all the trailhead and everything. But I'm gonna get my shoes tightened up, get Sally on the leash, and we're gonna go for a hiking and a backpacking. Like I said, we're at Frozen Creek access. Just gonna hit the trail down there. Ready to be on the trails. Sally's ready to be on the trail. She's less ready to have a pack on. Ain't ya? I don't know how much of the footage actually showed up a minute ago, but my GoPro froze. So apparently I'm gonna have to keep track of that. Make sure it's still recording when I think it's recording. Um, uh, so it looks like I need to register. So I'll go ahead and fill out the registration form. But we're gonna take Cane Break down. And then so this can break down to the Foothills Trail and go up Relentless Ridge. And then we're gonna camp tonight near Bear Creek. Somewhere in the because I think there's a couple of campsites around that area. So that's what around for we'll stay. And then we'll keep on going. All right, we got our registration in. Now it's time to get the packs on. Oh wait, where are we going to reach? Oh, yep, yeah, left it laying. I right about did it. So we are taking Cane Bake down to connect to the Foothills Trail, so which I think I showed that a minute ago, but anyway. Feels good to be back on the trail. Appreciative of Taz to uh, shuttle me this morning. I was surprised I was his, I was actually his third shuttle this morning, so and that was with me meeting him at eight. So uh, yeah, I just yeah, glad to be back on the trail. Sally is teetering. Looks like I need a picture of Pat. Come here, baby girl. Rebalance out. Somewhat. My pack is feeling great this morning. I mean, just to be at 25 pounds. And that's with my winter gear. I'm just like over the moon excited about that. Um, has this, like I say, this pack. I love the pack. It's got plenty of room for all my stuff. Um, but just like when I have it like loaded to 30 some pounds, it, it's not as comfortable because it like weighs down. It weighs down on my on my body and it causes it to ride lower. That's just not as comfortable. Um, but 25, 20, 25, 28. It's really good for this pack. Um, for it to feel comfortable for me. But, okay, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm over the moon. Has 24 pounds. Um, you know, that's the lightest I think I've ever had for a trip. Well, while I'm having my winter set up, I'm actually brought my hammock set up so you can see that. And 
I'll try out my new tarp. I'm excited. I'm excited because it's the first time I've been back in a hammock backpacking forever. So, I'm excited to try it out. Hopefully, Sally does good with me, you know, sleeping under, under like the hammock or whatever. But we'll see. But, I mean, it's just the weather is great. Like it's probably in the 40s, maybe almost 50 with the sun. But just um, super comfy. I think most of my most of my day um, starting out from the downhill because going because we're going down came break. Then I said, you know, we gotta go up Relentless Ridge and stuff. So we'll just see what the trail provides us today. So I just used to be out here. It's, it's a blessing. Um, so I'll show you all the way. Now and. Um, and as always, there's always nerves you're coming out because like I hadn't used has before as a shuttle. So there's always like some apprehensive, you know, be, me being just me and Sally, you know, getting the shuttle. But he was really nice, really good. Highly recommend him. Um, you can find him on the Foothills Conservancy website. There's a list of shuttle drivers and stuff. Um, and or something like, oh, I was just gonna say, you know, like, still nervous, get nervous every trip. You know, then I got on the trail and I'm like, oh, it's good, this is awesome, this is great. So, anyway, just great day. Oh, look at the moon. That's so cool through the trees. First time actually going down this trail. I'm always paying up it. So I haven't actually hiked like camp at the Heath Pine campsites, but they're up on a ridge, so it'd be a dry, dry camping area. I wonder if there's like bear boxes. I've been sitting there last time. I think. I wonder if they're gonna like put those down at like Toxaway. Yeah, I'm going this way. I don't remember those being there last time. I came up last time. That would be nice if they would you know, put in bear boxes. I'd appreciate that. Uh, one guy by himself and a group of three. So, anyway, I'm not the only one with a great idea to come backpacking this weekend to enjoy the weather. Absolutely gorgeous. It is so cool to like be walking down this trail because like, I'm seeing things in a different perspective, like seeing the ridge. And I'm sure it's different here since the leaves are off, off the tree. You know, it's just Gorgeous. Love it. Oh, 
really hard to kind of hide the see the rocks and stuff. through the trees. Oh, that's awesome. walking up the trail and Sally decided to stop and she was like kind of doing low growl and I was like what do you see she was so I was saying maybe it was like a bear like a lot something anyway she was like kind of doing low growl I was like what in the world is she doing it was this she I guess she hadn't seen like anything like that on the trail before so she's like it's foreign I'm growling at it so it was just it was funny I was like you're a good girl He's a girl protecting mama. <laughs> Even though it was just a post. <laughs> Alright, so we're fixing to eat some lunch here. I made it down to Lake Toxway. So we won't go over there where we had lunch last time. I think that would be like a really good camp spot. Um, just to come and set up base camp for a couple of days. That'd be pretty cool. Tiny miles is That's not bad. It's okay, Sal. Looks like the water level's down a bit. This is absolutely gorgeous. Come on, Tess. So we're gonna sit here and eat lunch. Get fueled up for Relentless Ridge. Okay. So it's a higher grass bed fish stick. For myself, I've got one of these protein monk pack cooking this day and gluten free. And some skippy peanut butter to put on it. do something about these steps because I can't even fit my size nine foot on. Come on, Sally. Even Sally's struggling. Come on. You got it, good girl. Now 
Now, when we came back, came here earlier this year, like the water levels up over these rocks and stuff, and, like boats were like coming in. People were all like hanging out on the rocks and stuff. Super cool. Oh, look, stairs! My favorite thing. There was no sarcasm there, right? Really cool. All right, go up the steps, Sally. Yeah, you're going up them. They on ain't the option. Come on, you got a four-wheel drive. You can do it. There you go. Good girl. I wish I could go up them like that. Look at her go. She's such a good girl. Right over there is that campsite I stayed at. Uh, last time when I did the gorgeous loop. This is so cool. down this and I was like I'm so glad I'm going down it not up it and now there I am fixing to go up it <laughs> so let's see how we do one step at a time I got a little warm coming up this hill, so I had to get down to my base layer. <laughs> Thankfully, the climb is almost over. Now, I'm not in the endurance training today on a hill. Let's go. I didn't know this was going to be a pulling exercise. Whew. Almost finished with relentless rage.
I can fix it in or some new territory. Leading gorgeous. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay. So this is where we came down. And I think this was actually the Navy. No, this wasn't. So I haven't been on the foothill section and from here to where the cars park. So this is all new territory. I'm excited. Okay, so there's the bear thing. Oh, yes, there's them right here. Yes! Yay! We made it! All Trails Live. It's about a mile and a half longer than what All Trails said. We've done almost 12 miles. So, we'll take it that way. Bear table situation. Make sure I can. It's make sure it's idiot proof for me, so I know how to work it. I'm out here struggling, working. No, 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 no. There's a little Oliver. Yeah. So the bear bag, the bear, bear bag is going on that. Yeah. And then this pulls up here. That way I can keep it straight as well as how to do that later. Okay. Come on guys, find us a hanging spot. Let's find us a hanging spot. Come sweet home. Oh boy, uh, this way back here with this back one here, good. I don't want to hang on that dirt, that is poison all over that tree. No, no. I don't want to hang the poison. No, no. Well, let's get camp set up. Made it! So we did, whew, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Um, yeah, 11.86 miles, and today was only supposed to be like just a little over 10, like 10.3. So all trails are wide. That's all I'll say about that. All right, so we got our set up, got a new tarp set up. I really don't have room to deploy it. But I mean, it's not calling for rain, so I'm not too worried about it. It's about to be right there. But there's really not a lot of good trees at this site for setting up the hammock. So, um, yeah, so I just made do. I think that'll be fine. I need to go down here and get some water and make some dinner. Because I'm hungry. Hungry. Oh, this pedal for us over here. Little Miss Pedal. Little Miss Pedal. So for tonight. You know, I'm gonna do some coffee. I haven't had coffee today. Got my sour jelly beans. I got some coconut, caramel coconut butter cups. And I have all chocolate. Oh, I don't have the coffee on me, the chai tea. Gotta have some in the morning before I go to bed. And some grilled chicken jambalaya. So we 
Let's see how all that goes. Let's go get some water. Water was cold. We got a full bag. That is that resumed her normal craziness. Grilled chicken jambalaya bag. I'll put it here. I like it. I thought it was pretty good. Chai and the coffee. I'll probably do one or the other. I just don't know which one yet. Yeah. 